Picking it up first is golfer one. What a majestic drive. Wow. Golfer two is ready to tee off. Get out the tape measure. That's a huge drive. No trouble here. It's a great lie. Heading back towards the hole. Golfer one. On the green and near the cup. Golfer one, putting for birdie. Golfer, golfer two has this for birdie. Golfer one, ready to hit. All right, guys, back on the air. It's uh, Ken's here. Hope everybody is enjoying the matches today. We've had some good ones on the stream. This is uh, round one of the King of the Hill match between Crawdaddy and Seth Harris. Looks like we got a little safari going. Uh, we're down to four in the loser's bracket. Scott Baltus is playing Josh Mertig right now. And um, Paul Stink Lady is playing Jason Loscovio. Loscovio. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher that all day just because I like to do it. They, they taught me how to say his name last night probably six times, but, you know, it was last night, and there was lots of beverages being consumed. Loschiavo, there we go. Loschiavo, as lovely Jackie just corrected me once again. Jackie, I butchered it twice just now already. Loschiavo. And uh, got an old schooler going to join us here. Unfortunately, got knocked out of the tournament a little bit ago. Mr. Dan Miser from, uh, um, well, now he's a Texas guy, but uh, originally from uh, the Milwaukee area. Known Dan for a long, long, long time. Welcome, Dan. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate to be here. Glad you made it. So, King of the Hill, Seth, my uh, new Golden Tea partner down in Dallas, and with versus your old Golden Tea exactly. partner. Exactly. This is pretty cool. Ken, can you get me an update on the two losers matches that are going right now? Just to let the the lovely viewing audience know what's going on. Jade, see you, bud. All right, we're we're we can see the comments now. We're good to go. Oh, oh boy. man. You know, Seth has been, I've, I've seen Seth, I've seen several matches today, and he's me, he's had a lot of hole outs. Yeah, he's he's really uh, playing well right now and just attacking that hole. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's, he's pretty locked in. It's fun to watch. Next up, it's, next up, it's golfer two. And then, uh, all right, so Josh is up two through 13 against uh, Baltus. Just got a little update there. And we're checking in on the uh, six foot stink lady and, uh, and Jason. I'm not even going to attempt to say his last name anymore because I already forgot what Jackie told me. Smart move. Los Giavo. Yeah, Los Giavo. I think I got it right. Nice. Jason Los Giavo. Yeah, so Seth uh, had just got done playing Safari and against uh, Josh Mertzig in order to get to this match here and felt like he left a few strokes on the table and ended up beating Josh in sudden death on Safari, so he's coming back with a vengeance. All right, so stinks up one on Jason going into 10 on Dubai. That one's all the way in the corner, so I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it, but um, 
Mertzig screen, we can't see it all because that's parallel to our backs. <laughs> so Dan and Dan and did you have to change your flight? Uh, I'm gonna have to change it right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Great. <laughs> we just got the rental car changed and the hotel's getting extended. Yeah. Oh, you guys both are gonna fly back tomorrow now? Yeah. Okay. I can't let my boy just be here alone. So. I understand. All right. So. So I haven't really been paying attention to the to the match except for that hole up by Seth. So is Seth up one here? And, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. It's it stayed. Uh, All right, so one boring. one better to to par right now on Safari through five holes. Yeah, it seems like Cross living on the stream uh, today, so he is. He should yeah. be comfortable right now in front of that camera. So this was just. One impressive tournament that you guys put on. Nothing but uh, fabulous things to say, and what I've heard from the everybody that's participated, it's just been awesome. So thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a pretty cool concept, you know, to to be able to to give away a pass for it to to somebody that wasn't able to, you know, qualify and. Also generate a nice, you know, a nice ninety-two hundred dollar prize fund for the uh, for the, for a thirty-man tournament, yeah, thirty-two-man tournament. That doesn't hurt. That's uh, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, I know the loser of these losers bracket matches finished five six, and that's worth uh, four seventy-five. Um, Healthy payday. Yeah, absolutely. Got it. So this setup here, I like to click a couple left and just pound a high tee out into that into that dirt area, and it leaves a nice little iron in. Um, I think these guys are still thinking about how you had to play this the older, you know, the older style, leaving yourself a long wood. But if if you're up here in between the uh, in that darker dirt over there on the left. You have, like, with that wind and that pin, you're looking at probably like a thumb six iron, seven iron, eight iron in there. Makes uh, makes the hole a lot easier. Oh, yeah, anytime you can get that uh, extra control. I, I tell you what, the quality of this uh, tournament, it's it's been spectacular. It, There's been some, you know, really, you know, the, when I'm looking at when I was looking at the field, um, I had a general idea that you know there were really about 20 out of the 30 players with like skill level. You know, so you knew you were going to have some really exciting matches, a lot of really close matches, and uh, it was just a matter of you know who got who got hot today. And that match that you saw earlier on the stream between Van Hoosier and, and Crawdaddy, that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, that chip Dave made on 18 of Rhineland to take it into overtime was just. Uh, that that was that was elite level stuff. Yeah, that that was some good good stuff there. It was hard. Uh, we were two machines over. It's hard to focus on our match because everybody was cheering for uh, that match over there. Yeah, that's that's the one thing when you get down, you know, when you get down to the last, you know, four, three, four machines, and if if everybody's focused on you know one match and a lot of you know the the crowd is focusing on one match and all of a sudden there's an eruption in the middle of your shot. Yeah, you know, it's it's it, it's startling. And that you know, it's uh, it's it's hard to deal with if you're not used to. And I know it's been a couple of years really since you played an attorney. So um, oh yeah, you know, it just it can really can really throw your uh, your concentration off. Fortunately, uh, old school guys like us don't get rattled. <laughs> ah yes, yes. might dismiss shots, but we don't get rattled. So I think that we're going to see the fireworks uh, turn up a little bit once we get to the back nine on this course. Yeah, uh, still one better uh, for Seth. This is uh, this pretty standard setup. Might see somebody burn the burn the hole here. Looks like Paul, I think, is still up one. I just had a report that Josh had a had a pretty major error in his match right now. He dropped three strokes. Ooh. So Josh was up two, and now uh, Scott's up one. 
The winner of that match will be guaranteed in the top four. Just want to say to all the uh, the ladies out there and moms, happy Mother's Day. I hope you're having a great day. You guys deserve this day. And thanks for everything you all do, especially my lovely wife, Courtney, and my lovely mom. Love you guys. Love you, Court. Been too long. All right, so Seth so, is going to go. This is this kind of little little tricky setup here. He should just kind of angle it. Yeah, just take it. Oh, that's uh, yeah, okay. looking good. Very nice. Good distance. Solid control. shot. Yeah, I mean, that's for anybody out there, you know, trying to learn the game and get better. The number one thing you really need to dial in on is your distance control. You can miss right and left, and generally you're going to be okay, you know, for the most part. But if you're... If you can control your distance to where you know what club is going to do what most of the time, you're never really going to put yourself in a, you know, a, a, a heap load of trouble. I really just brought out heap load. <laughs> heap load. <laughs> yeah, that was, that, was, that was kind of funny. That's the word of the day. It is. Uh-oh. Oh. So Craw misses the putt. He's going to drop another stroke here, and Seth is going to... Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Seth uh, rattled that one in a little, little gopher love there from the Caddyshack gopher. No oh, kidding. Yeah, that uh, missed putt by Craw goes back to what you were just talking about with the distance control. You know, if he uh, left himself a more makeable putt, a more reliable putt. So now he's down chasing two. Yeah, and uh, the chipping and the putting is the one thing where, uh, you know, if, if these guys are showing or Ooh. feeling any nerves at all, because, you know, we're, they're... I know everybody left in this field, you know, the, the money's nice, but they really want that pass. They really want to play in the world championship. Absolutely. And uh, if, if we're going to see any, you know, any sort of nerves showing up, it's definitely going to be on the, you know, with the putter or with the chipping. Because those are the, uh, those are the touchiest shots. You know, if, if you're nervous, you know, the best thing to do is just pull it back and hit it as hard as you can. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little squirty one there, but got away with it. Yep. They'll, they'll both tap this in and move on. So that's going to be up to through 10, still uh, or through 11, still with a uh, a little one better round going. Yeah, and, I tell uh, you, you know the the field that is left, like you said, you know, I I wouldn't be shocked to see whoever wins this tournament and gets the world berth to you know do a little bit of a run at Worlds. I'm not predicting winning it or anything, but I'm saying there are dangerous players and. You know, every bit is qualified and deserving to be there as anybody else there. Little update on the loser's draw. Uh, Scott Baltus defeated Josh Mertzig. Another Wisconsin guy went down. That's, Josh uh, will finish 5-6. Uh, Scott into the top four. And also guaranteeing himself a little payday in the Calcutta. So interesting uh, tidbit. Craw, myself, and Seth... Uh, took each other in the Calcutta, have a little three-way split going. So, oh, that's I'm sitting pretty nice. So you're guaranteed two. You're guaranteed two payouts. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get, trying to see what's going on in the stink match. They're on 18. Oh, yep. Jason. I think Jason just went in the water. So I think uh, Mr. Lady is going to be advancing on this. Yeah, Paul took me down in uh, Rattlesnake the game before. 31-30, missed my 50-foot uh, putt to let him escape on me. Almost hold out 18 to take him, but uh, no such luck. Paul's a solid player, Chicago guy, school of kins. It's hard to, hard to beat those guys. <laughs> not anymore. It's not very hard to beat me anymore. <laughs> Just ask everybody listening. <laughs> All right, let's see the comments. No, nobody's. <laughs> oh, whoa, Seth just got wet. Yeah, uh, this, this is, is a tough setup. Wow, yeah, this is, this is. Uh, Hi, guys. How's it going? Paul, up, buddy? Paul, Paul Lady into the, uh, into the top four and still running alive through this uh, loser side of the draw. Good job, bud. Good it's work. Like, like a repeat of the Sullivan Open over here. Another, uh, so Jason Loschiavo. Oh, there we go. What a shot by Craw. So I don't know if you guys on the stream discussed this earlier, but Craw had no idea he was using stock balls all day. <laughs> and then uh, 
I was watching their match, and uh, Brandon Burnell mentioned it to me. He's like, is he playing stock balls? And I looked, and he was playing stock balls on Rhineland in that uh, match with Van Hoosier, and he had no idea that he was playing stock balls. He's like, man, how come my drives aren't going anywhere? <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Uh, so, all right, uh, our chasing fifth, one now. Our fifth and sixth finishers are uh, Scott Baltus. Oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Josh Mertzig and uh, Jason uh, Loschiavo. See, I said it right, Jason. Loschiavo. That's, that's a sexy name. <laughs> you know, sexy really name is. for a sexy guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. I think Kraus feeling it. Uh, he is... Certainly going after it now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, shh. All right, let's see what Crod chooses to do here. Probably run it up the gut. Um, I'm telling you, Kins, Crod's got the best 180 game in the business. This guy, when he wants to hit it absolutely in a straight line, it goes in that straight line. He's out there safely in the fairway waiting on an interesting uh, wind approach coming up for him. <laughs> Excellent. I expect a clean shot here. That's a perfect lie. Time's sort of ticking away for Craw too. The this is one of the last uh, big holes to have a be a difference maker. Golfer two with a follow up. Yes, it is. So what are you thinking here? You go with a cut and release, or you gonna attack the pin? Well, the thing is, this, this up 10 really doesn't react like an up 10 if you're coming in with that three hybrid. If you're coming in with a wood, it is, but that three hybrid, once it hits, it just really scoots. So he made he made the smart play there. You really had to throw some bite on there. Couldn't get too aggressive with it. See you, Beatty. Hey, nice Drive safe, brother. Himself. Yeah, little little uh, little save there. Stay one up with uh, three holes to go. So pretty uh, pretty straightforward setup here. See what happens. So all you uh, streamers out there should go take a look at the last few games of the Sullivan Open that. Richard put out. Midori, see you, brother. Thanks for coming, man. You'll see the uh, matchup of Craw versus Stink and how uh, Stink got relegated down to the loser bracket and then came up and double dipped Craw to win it. So there's got to be a little backstory there that, you know, both of them want to represent and make sure that they get to write the story the way they want. Oh, it's a good line right there. Good effort. You know, I think, you know, being old school, Greg, I can uh, throw this quote out, maybe help some of the newer players, but uh, one Charlie Olson used to say, it takes skill to get it close to the hole but oh, luck yeah. to get it in. Yeah. So Absolutely. all you can do is keep putting it right next to that hole and sooner or later they go down. Yeah, you just hope one drops, right? Solid game. Good representative for uh, 
you know, a finals match, 26-25, two holes to go. Yeah, absolutely. Good green find. Don't want to do something too aggressive and end up overcutting, ending up in the left sand and really making matters worse for yourself. Good stuff, Jimmy. Call for one with a putt for Bird. Yes, Kelly is in. Golfer. Two. Yeah, Seth was complaining about his putting last game, but looks like he's uh, found a way to get past that. Final hole here, you got to be careful not to let it carry too far left and get you in the sand. Yeah. You definitely want to be on the green. Force the other guy to, you know, just execute. Yeah, right now, I mean... Um, Carl's really got to try to make this guy, huh? Shoot us, shoot us, shoot us. All right. I even told her this is my last one. Oh, okay. well, that's a good shot there. Golfer one, tease it up on the closing hole. Closing hole. Everyone is about. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. everybody. Happy Mother's Day, Richard. <laughs> well, now, how about that? Oh, shit, I got a call. Oh, I'm With an eagle attempt. I got about that. All right. 28 in the house. See, Seth just changed the club to the driver and put roll on before he putt. Yeah. I know that used to be a thing. <laughs> I thought I heard that that no longer is the case. Uh, you know, from day one, they pretty much said it didn't really do anything, but I think it's just a mental thing. And yeah, um, Seth uh, closed it out, man. I mean, he got that he got that hole out early and held the lead for the most part. Yep, that was that was a very good match. So looking forward to uh, seeing what we got on the second one. But there's going to be a little break, it looks like, because Craw needs to re <laughs> rebook his flight. All right, so what, so what we're going to do then is we're going to have Stink and uh, Baltus. You guys go play your, your game while they're taking a break. Yeah. You have now completed this course. Check-in time.
Jim and Peter are ready for golf at Mayfield Golf Club. Joining me today is one of the great ambassadors of the game, Mike Danvers of the game. Mike Dan, Peter Jack. Golf for one, hits first. is ready to tee off. There's a pin seeker. Golfer one, ready to putt. In the hole, it's two for an eagle. Golfer two, with a try for eagle, try for eagle. Next up, golfer one. for two from the tee box. He doesn't want to be wet. Wet. Golfer one. She'll have to aim just a touch left to pound it away. Peter. With club in hand, it's golfer two. He'll be happy with this. Golfer one will be putting. In the hole, in the hole for Eagle. Golfer two with a big. Best of three, Seth Harris won the first game. Uh, against Crawdaddy, 29 to 28 on Safari. Definitely putting their uh, best foot forward on that. Looks like we've got Mayfield up, so look for another high scoring round. Stink is not allowed on the comment. He's still in the tournament. Plus, he knocked me out, so no. I know, I'm surprised he's third. I know. So, it's going to be a hot minute anyways. So. And it's all is doom, do, doom, doom, do, doom, doom, doom. No, cut Mike. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing well, Stink. How about yourself? I'm feeling high as a kite right now. Yeah, you should. That was a good match that you just had. Be always good Good to move forward. I had to go for 18, man. I mean, I was up three. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to. Nothing to risk there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We could open the doors and try to fly at home. But. <laughs> All right. Looks like they're uh, going to be thinking about attacking this hole. It's back a little bit. Seth carried just a little bit too far, but. So. Those kind of chips shouldn't be a major problem. No, Seth. Seth's got a. He's got a good. He's got a good chip. Well, you know, he he likes to say he doesn't. I, I think he just says that to lull you into a false sense of security. Yeah, probably. <laughs> then he makes you know eight out of nine of them and like oh who knows? oh oh whole burner there. So what we got here. I just jumped in. Are we still square? We're, we're square. Still, yeah, we're square. We're square. 
good shift face off. So, so yet another counter example of what he says. I'm a bad chipper. He, he yeah, does not. No, he's not. You don't, don't let him. That level. Don't let him crap you. Yeah, you you don't get to that level and be bad at any part of your game. I mean, something might be better. You might be running something good that day, but you know he's certainly competent at it. Yeah. Some days you're on, some days you're off. You know. Yep. It's never. You know. You're never fully consistent. <laughs> So Definitely the opt I would go for is drive it over there. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I mean, more of the opinion that I like um, laying back, you know, because I've got woods in my bag that, that give me the right distance for that. Yeah, six wood in there isn't bad, actually. But, you know, and right now he's just a little bit gapped. I mean, you can overhit that nine oh. iron, and you got the down green. Yeah. It's not like a gap gap, but it's certainly not a, you know, simple thumb shot, so you got to go, go after it. A little harder, or maybe release on that had it, but then you got to you need to bring the water into play. You hit release yeah, or anything exactly. like that. So, which is sort of why I'm saying, you know, I like finding a spot that you can go to every time in a bad set setup mm -hmm. and just work on that spot. So Crawdaddy's gonna do the same thing, but not let it come in. So I think the Clash of the Titans here. You know, definitely hole 16 yep. will be one of the tricky ones. Um, you know, we've got hole 4, which just wasn't drivable. There's yeah. hole 8, hole 9 can play a little tricky from time to time. So yep. there, there's enough little things on this course, even though it's, you know, one of the easier courses that, you know, if you lapse in focus for a moment, you can find yourself, uh, you know, uh -oh. dropping Ooh. a stroke. Or good shot at the pin there. <coughs> so let's see what Crowd Eddie does. Is he going to follow him up? That. Now did Seth thumb it? Uh, Crowd did a pullback thumb. I'm look, looking I like a cut, but he also carried it, so probably not. No, he probably hit that 180. So, no blood still after six. I think they're talking to each other. Oh, all right. <laughs> they're not talking to us. I mean, if you guys want to talk to us, feel free to comment. We'll answer any questions you have. The one question we probably can't answer is where Cross shoes ended up last night. That was. Uh, well, I got yelled at for walking around barefoot. Well, because that, that's because your flip flops broke. Yeah, I wonder who broke my flip flops. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Why don't? I mean, come on. It's a three wood in. All right, I like that. Taking all yeah. the ugly stuff out of play. So you got Stink and Miser sitting here comment, commentating. Oh, oh, backspin on that. That's a mighty big word out of you over there. Commentating? Commentating. Commentating. I have my moments, all right? Uh, so sitting here with... Uh, the guy that's waiting for the loser of this match. Yep. He wants me. to come back and try and double dip. So what I understand from Kins is the format changes a little bit once we get to the final finals. Mm -hmm. Right now we're king of the hill match. Right. Best of three. Oh, Craw just slid one by. So Got a little much fringe there. So it's a best of three. And then so yep. the loser's bracket still only going to play one round after this. Yep. And then um, once we get to the final, it's a best of five. For the first game, and then there's if an if, uh, if game comes in, in other words, the loser, the one that has a loss already wins, then it becomes each person has a loss, and then it's just a best of three for the final, final match of the entire thing. Oh, is that the way it works? That's what he told me, so. So if you want to play more Golden Tee and just concede one match. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So the crowd really has to bear down here. No more uh, mistakes allowed. Oh, <laughs> nice match. Oh. How close were you there for we going go. for eight? I I haven't played these. I mean, as you can tell, there's certain shots where I really, really look at because I haven't seen these shots before. Um, I've played, this is the most golden tee I've played in six, seven weeks. I mean, I'll play a game here and there, but really not playing much. So I didn't want to risk it going for 
a thing I something I've never done before, w not in match play. If yeah, I was that's at home, the time. huh? Yeah, no, no, no. You never, I like, never do that. Just cut your losses. Now, if he would have drove it, I might have gave it a look, maybe. But me and Seth were just talking about don't do anything you're not comfortable with. So I probably wouldn't have gone for it either way, actually. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, I, I mean, I wasn't, I, say we've I wasn't going right? to go for 18 on Ryland, but you know, being up three, I water it, take my par, yeah. call it a day. So Seth, uh, uh, Seth said that that's his favorite layup spot is behind the sand when the green, uh, when the pin is to the right. Crow went to that layup spot. Yeah, but the but pins to the left. I, so I think he needs to be pushed yeah. up a little farther and that. 10-5 will make it over those trees, but you're still playing a cut. You're still taking distance off it. you got to hammer this. And I know right. Craw's not a huge hitter. Oh, he is. Uh -huh. With the 180, he's he's huge. He's, he, on the spinnies is where oh, he really okay. lacks the distance. Gotcha. So, I mean, that's a nice little safe shot right there. Just couldn't attack the hole, which actually probably <laughs> isn't the worst thing in the world because right. we've oh. seen people get wet all, all weekend trying to get a little too aggressive on it. Yeah. I, I'm one of those. Hey, Hi. during a match against Cannon. Which yeah. the stream was not available yet. You guys could have totally seen me poop myself. Yeah, I got I got wet on that hole last night in a money game. But yeah. at least that's what I was told. <laughs> oh, no, oh, Craw. Craw. All right, so um, Seth makes his putt. He's going to go up two. Yeah, you know, so it could Seth's be Seth's got a clean front. You know, it's probably nerves, you know. Uh, it, you know, you don't think that you're going to get nerves playing a video game. Uh, you know, if you haven't, right. then you're really not <laughs> doing it right. Nice shot by Seth right here. Yeah. And, you know, you know with a trip to Worlds on, on the line here, yeah. three players left, one of you three are going to go. Yep. Uh, you know, the stakes are pretty monumental. It, it's a great experience to be out in Worlds. The payday is going to be great. The opportunity, oh, the experience. Oh, no. Ooh. All right. Oh, how did that stay up? Crawdaddy can, Crawdaddy can trip. I have no yes. doubts with him not making this. Double negative equals a positive, right? <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh, oh he, he, heavy. He's got, he, I think he's got a little bit of nerves going, you know, yeah, with. He's um, chasing too. So, you know, that's when you start pressing and making mental mistakes. And I think that's what that was right there. I don't think that was a physical mistake. That was totally mental. All right, so he's going to go up three now. Yeah, three on holes. Mayfield is. That's a huge. That's huge. Unless 16, which yep. if 16 set up bad. Well, this hole right here, too. You know, although with the wind in your face, you know, that's not going to let you carry long. Should be pretty straightforward. I've carried it long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be a crusher. So right. So I get it, but. I've seen a lot worse setups. How about that? You know, if this was an out and 11 wind, I'd I'd say there's a chance for something to happen here. But so five dollar games, man. The ugh, they're horrible. I like my four dollar games. Play a cycle for 20 bucks. An old cycle. Yeah. An old cycle. Yeah, I I didn't I understand. Love, I were. love I love the fact they brought in classic course of the week and whatnot, but with, with seven courses, it's just, there's so much to memorize, so yeah. much to, you have to keep learning, which, you know, I'm not the sharpest crane in the toolbox, so. Really not even the second sharpest, to tell you the truth. Well, you know, I'm like, I'm like the butter knife, <laughs> you know, and not like the cool ones with a little bit of ridges on them, like the butter knife has a little angle and it's just flat. Yeah. You know. So I like what Seth did there. You know, took the fence out of play, the water's out of play. You know, this setup with that left to right wind is going to protect you from going too far left. So, yep. you know, just take the fence out, blast it over. Craw's going to hit another high. There we go. Oh, uh, he's going to be on the. You're fine. Yeah. You can still I, don't, get there. I don't mind being on the brick there. I don't The either. pavement, whatever it is. I mean, you're getting this about the same, a little, little more action, actually, than out of the rough. But. Ooh. 
Ooh. I like those tracer balls. You get to I do too. The you know, you see your line. line, you see where you miss hit. You know, it's a godsend. Me and Kins were talking about that a couple months ago. Yeah, I wish they'd do that on the overhead, though, too. You know, at the same time, to, you know, draw the line on the overhead part right on the oh. lower left while oh. the ball's in the air. Like they do, like they do with the yeah. PGA? I almost said PGT. I can't talk right now. I got wicked heartburn, though. I need some Tums. Ooh, tucked up close setup. Yeah, this one can be trouble, but, you know, that 8-wood, I think, is going to be that okay eight, there. That 8-wood's money, yeah, I think. Yeah, he's, he's got a little. That's almost a full, honestly. Click one to the uh, click one to the left. It, Come all the way back. You know, funny you bring, bring that up. Seth talked to me uh, during the intermission there, and he's like, hey, did you notice the, you know, the 8-wood full I played on 15 of Safari in the previous match? And, you know, Greg and I didn't actually comment on it, but, you know, turning right one and, you know, going with a full is definitely a way to help counteract some strange winds yep. and, you know, greens. And yeah, well, what, did a good what, job I've, with that. what I've learned is an 8-wood and a 6-wood, when you play a full, they react the exact same because a 6-wood doesn't cut for anything. You know, a 6-wood right. sucks at cutting. It's a beautiful shot by yeah, Seth. Yeah, that, that is that's something else. That's money. You know, I, I like what he did there, too, with the shot, the shape of the shot, you know, moving it in from right to left instead yep. of trying to counteract the wind. Uh, I, th I think it naturally sets up this way right now. Yep. Kroz doesn't have the eight. He's got the nine. He's got the nine. Okay. Nine. Yeah, nine's fine. I thumb it with roll. Thumb with roll, one click over. That's yeah, that, money. That nine, uh, that thing just doesn't ever seem to go where I want it to go in terms of length. You got to That's going to be a little long, it looks like. Yeah, he's so. attacking with everything he has right now. There nice chip. Go. There he is. Okay. He's letting the nerves settle a little bit. But he still needs to hole out three times or wait for a mistake from Seth, which is, you yeah. know. Yeah, he's 22 through 13. He's he's on pace for his 30. Yep. You know, and it. Any, I'd rather lose to somebody who shoots a clean round by his, than by a stupid mistake of mine. Yeah, ab absolutely. You know. you know. On the mental game, you know, I, I think that's really the, the one thing you got to take away at these tourneys is you're playing against yourself. You're not playing against your opponent. You know, it, you just can't chase and do things that you've never done before. And right. Think they're magically going to work out. Or That's why I didn't go for uh, eight. Yep, Absolutely. So. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little loud up in here. Yeah, I mean they didn't just turn the music on; they cranked it. Yeah. But it's tiny I dancer, mean, so Steve I mean, is going to be singing. We a can bit dance. For us. We can dance Go. after the commentating. You know. You we can dance. Some tiny dancer. Yeah. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Yeah. Very <laughs> <laughs> Music seems to be on repeat here. Keep hearing the same thing over and over again. Stuck in the 70s. All right, good. Uh, I like what he, uh, I like what Seth did there. You know, you when these get to these islands, you know that island right there specifically. That's it, the money got a island. Ledge that falls off to the right. Yup. Got to be careful with that. You got to make sure you clear the bush, so you yeah. can have a clear approach shot. So it, you know, it's a standard shot, but it, it's a lot of moving parts that go into it. He didn't like his pullback. All right, that'll play. That'll play. Yeah, so I'm sitting here still waiting for my call back from American to rebook my flight. <laughs> Why, did you cancel it? Uh, I'm going to have to. Why, a little late? Well, yeah, I was supposed to fly out of here in an hour. Then it got delayed another hour and a half. Oh. But now with uh, what's going on with Krav, we we may be staying. Looks like it. got the best wife ever who said I understand hey can't ask for anything better than that come on Crawl. that's a nice up right there yeah so All right. Oh, and we got the wicked tee box. Yeah, let's, the see what, let's see what Seth does. I mean, he will curve around from 
right to left. Yeah, that's, but that's I mean, is he going to lay up? No. No? You think he's going to go for it? He's going to go for it. Seth's going to go for it, huh? I mean, first of all, you got the wind helping this shot. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh. See, there's no point. He's up three. I mean. Time to take my it, microphone away. Yeah, maybe. See, I'm thinking if you go for it, you can always leave yourself long. Even if you're chipping one away, you still got 17, 18. I mean, if you're giving up control of who shoots first over the next two holes for a stroke, I'd I change mean, that in. Yeah. And now you got a nasty crosswind. That's not horrible. I wouldn't have put it so close. I would have put it back in the yeah, fairway. Yeah, you need to have farther. more options. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sitting here talking about it while he's doing it. So This is true. I'm sitting here talking about it, too. Yeah, you're still in it, though. Uh, oh. hate when that happens. I do, too. Why? You're the reason I'm sitting here. Oh, so. that's right. I'm sorry. Stupid rattlesnake. Hey, man, you almost... He, our match was good. I wish it was live streamed because we kind of went back and forth. We both yeah. ended, what, 31 30? 31 30. on Rattlesnake. And I almost had that ace on 18. Yeah, yeah he almost put you in. nodded 18. It was, it was a beautiful shot. I played it safe like a baby. It just no, cut it, you cut. absolutely did the right thing. Why would you want to yeah. go attack it? You want to leave yourself there we a go. footer. This and is he's it. Got it. He got to get up there. Oh. Okay, he's got a chip. Croc right. and chip. Croc and chip. All so. right, so you're going to turn right one, and, yeah, he's gapped. No, he's, actually, that's a straight pullback on the, the right, B and right. hit it out to the two, or one. Oh, he's just going to flip thumb it. What's going to happen? Oh, no, set. Ooh. All right, now you got a chip, so you can No, it's a, that's a putt. I think that's you a think? putt. Yeah, it's a putt. All right. But then again, I'm not in his shoes right now, so will be in a few minutes. Get up there. Come on, Craw. There we Whoa. go. That was, uh, that was big. That was big. Now, now this puts the pressure yep. on Seth to make this. Let's see what he's got. Let's he's see. on the rough, he's, but he it is, is a down seven. You, you it's a right putt six, this, down right? seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can putt this. Yeah. There we go. That answers safe, that question. Safe as could be. Gave up one. Cross going first. Just, just where you want to be, and he did it with the layup. I, I like the so. execution there. You know, sometimes what happens is when you're playing all the time in these 50-man tournaments live, you never lay up, ever. Yeah. So you never know where your layup is going to be when you get to this position in a tournament. Correct. You know, people need to spend a little time, a game or two, sacrificing to find your layup spot. Yeah. Because I, I bet you Seth would, was not happy with where he left himself. I, I'd have to agree. So with the winner, if Seth wins this match, um, it's going to – not crowd Eddie in the loser's bracket to face me. And then um, me and crowd Eddie are going to play, and we'll let uh, you interview Seth. Sounds good. You can talk about layup spots and all that good stuff. Oh, he will be hearing all about it. Safe shot. There we go. Yeah, at this point, for Seth, everything is about marking time, just coming out clean on every hole. Yep. And He's got one hole left. Advance. With two holes to play. Or one hole to play. He's got one hole left, two strokes. Um, Crawdaddy's going to be up first. Not that horrible of a setup. No, nope, not too I, bad. No, I could say I've seen worse. So um, Crawdaddy's got to be thinking about putting it in the hole and put any type of pressure on, but even that's not going to really be enough as long as Seth can just get up and down for his eagle. Yep. Seth pacing back and forth, doing a little shimmy. Oh, he stopped. He must have heard me. <laughs> yeah, Craw wants to take a look or two. He's actually, I, I have seen Craw on 18 in tournaments in Wisconsin. Uh, I've seen him nut 18 against Kurt Stimpert once. <laughs> to uh, snatch oh, victory away. Oh! There. Ooh. Oh. Thought that was it, man. He took his time. He focused. Yep. He had a good spin at that. But I think that's going to let him come up a little short, and he's going to have to come and face you next, barring something. Here we go. Sullivan open. Sullivan shootout. Part take two. Take two. Sullivan South. Sullivan Apple. So what was, what was fun about, um, you know, what's funny is the two guys playing right now, okay? So the Sullivan shootout, um, Crawford knocks me into the loser's bracket, yep. and then I came back and double-dipped him. 
in the uh, in the and final. Seth is safe on the green, so oh, he can just two putt from here is fine. Yep, that's fine. Nobody cares. One stroke victory versus two. Nobody really cares. So and then Wisconsin opened in the purple bracket. I knocked Seth into the losers bracket. He came back and double dipped me. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> watching both those streams by the way. Wanted to be there. Well done for Seth Harris. So it's my time to shine. Or huh? Seth won. Yeah. So all right. Thanks, Paul. Let's turn that back up. Let's go off the air for a minute. Here's Jim Nance from Royal Dubai. Royal Dubai. Are you live here, right? Yes, Dan Miser here coming at you live from Indianapolis. got the king on the right. Uh-oh. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Don't worry. It is not me that's going to commentate this third place match. We're going to have Greg Kinsler and Miser on the mic. We're just making sure we're doing a sound check and everything is good to go. What do we got? Dubai going here? We do have Dubai. So this is only a one gamer. The winner will be in the final against, believe it or not, Seth Harris. Not believe it or not, but yeah, actually believe it or not. Seth is not uh, used to uh, used to being in the final on the, on the gold side, but uh, this is a tournament that he should be. Yeah, exactly. Seth, Seth, Seth has actually been in two finals in purple, uh, but one he couldn't, no one knows, because he had a flight early and he had yeah. to take it. <laughs> yeah. I offered him a room to stay, and he, it was the first time I ever met him. And uh, he didn't know anybody. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sting decided he wanted to uh, put the screws in. Cool. Yeah, so Seth uh, missed his first final, and that's why you guys saw uh, Pecan in Orlando instead of Seth. It was because Seth had to leave. Pecan had no shoes, and that's where Pecan got his name, No Shoe Pecan. Well, Craw had no shoes last night for a little while, too, <laughs> King. Any comment about that? Uh, well, I think a lot of people had no shoes on including King that night. Oh, that was last night. Last yes. night. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, we got Craig Kinsler coming up. Well, oh, okay. oh. 